picking up a larger dog will require you to use both arms and hands to lift the dog. The medium and large dogs may require muzzling or additional assistance unless they are obviously non-biters. The best technique for a medium-sized dog, 15 to 50 pounds, would be to cradle one arm behind the rear legs and the other arm across the chest and front legs as demonstrated here. Occasionally, dogs will lie down when you are attempting to pick them up, making it slightly more difficult getting them off the ground. This dead weight can sometimes be managed easier by bringing the arm from behind their hindquarters to a position under their abdomen or belly. This positioning sometimes will aid in getting them up off the ground. The arm lifting the dog's front end will still have a secondary role of controlling the head from any quick turns. It becomes especially important with these larger dogs to use good lifting mechanics to prevent back injuries. Notice how the legs are primarily used, keeping the back as straight as possible. When a very large dog must be lifted, you can often ask another colleague for assistance. You can lift the front or back half, and they will lift the other half. This two-person technique is especially helpful when the dog is over 50 pounds. Handlers should also consider wearing a back brace, especially when lifting medium and large-sized dogs. Once again, the importance of assessing the dog's disposition prior to picking them up must be reiterated. When lifting a larger dog, your face will be more vulnerable to getting bit. If you are in doubt, either muzzle the dog or consider conducting the procedure or exam on the floor. Many hospitals are equipped with a lift table that hydraulically lifts the table from six inches up to whatever height is desired. With this technology, you must only walk or lift the dog up six inches. Once the dog is on the table, be sure to secure a leash prior to starting the lift. The sudden movement in the table is often quite unsettling to most dogs, and many will attempt to bail out if not restrained while being lifted. When returning a dog to the floor, it is always important to lower the dog in a similar fashion as opposed to allowing them to jump off the table. Slick floors provide very poor traction for a dog jumping down and may lead to injuries.